Hello guys, and welcome back to the Minecraft Monstorial. In today's episode, we're going to be doing some animated textures um, for our furnace, so when it is active, it will have an animated texture showing that it's sintering. So here in my textures, we have my um, sintering furnace front off, front on, furnace side one, side two, and side three which are all things that we put inside our model block here in Sintering Furnace. However, the Sintering Furnace front on is special if I open it in paint.net. As you can see here, there are lots of individual textures, lots of 16 by 16s, which are increasing. These are, this is an animation. So it's gonna be 16 um, in width, followed by 16 times how many frames you have of the animation. So here I have 12 frames. 16 times 12 is 192. Therefore it's 192 pixels in height. But obviously you can have as many frames as you want downwards. So that will have the animation. If we were to run the game without this MC meta file here, it would have given texture error. If we open this, we see that inside it has two opening curly brackets, followed by animation, colon, two more curly brackets, and then something called frame time, which is how many um, how many ticks a frame stays on the block. So this means that each frame stays on for one fifth of a second for me. So it's four twentieths. A tick is one twentieth of a second. So this is four twentieths or one fifth of a second. Another thing you can do as well, you can have frames and then open up some right angle brackets and then inside of frames you can have each individual frame so for example you could have one two three four three two one what this will do is make it so your animation goes to frame one then frame two then frame three and frame four and then goes back so for example you could have something going up and down and you would use this but my frame time 4 just automatically assumes that we go through all the frames then go back to the first one. So it goes 1 through 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12. So on. It keeps looping through the same thing. So now we have that animation frame time there. Um, we, You mean to call this the exact same thing as the texture. Sintering furnace front on .png. And then put .mc meta on the end for the texture for the text file. Put that inside of your textures blocks and Minecraft will read this before it reads the texture so it understands how it works. Running the game again, we should probably not read any more texture errors. This will actually allow us to see our rotation working as well. So if I get a new one out and I place it down, this is the front of my um, textures. I have a few dusts around the outside so that's what the Sintering Furnace uses. Well, that's what it's going to use in the future for when I make my mod. And then when we get something smelting, so we'll get the recipe again. I believe it's Acacia, um, Fence Post and Fence. And we've got some coal in our hands. And when it's smelting, as you can see, we have this animated texture where the dust goes up and down so it's like it's smelting which is really cool. So obviously if you want to create your own one of these, you just go into paint.net. Here's how I did it. I opened up one of my textures, which is this Sintering Furnace Side 3 here I got. I give it a copy and created a new thing, 16 by 192. I placed the full one at the bottom. I would then paste it again and I would use the colour picker, grab this colour, and cut off the top. I would then copy, paste, move it up until it's at the correct height. Then cut off a bit more, copy, paste, so on and so forth, until it's all the way up to the top. Then we create the frame time MC meta thing to tell Minecraft how to work this texture. So thank you for watching this entire furnace tutorial series guys. If you have enjoyed, 
please hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel. I have lots more videos coming, including a crafting table tutorial. Dimensions tutorial will be coming soon when I get this to fully work. I have quite high standards. I don't want you guys um, not being able to figure out things. I want you to be able to understand everything that I'm doing. And I have lots of other exciting things. If you want any specific tutorial, leave a comment down below. And I'll try and get as many done before 1.13 comes out. So thanks for watching, guys. My name has been Harry. And goodbye.